Hi friends, welcome back. So today we're going to be doing a little bit of a refresh for one of my favorite plants, I would say. It's a plant that a lot of people struggle with and I have in the past as well. Um, but it is this red calathea or red, red, red moranta. Um, a lot of times they are confused as calathea. Um, but I think the actual name of the genus is Maranta. Um, and this is just a plant that I've had for a while now. I got it as a pretty small plant um, from my friend Kenzie. Um, and I gave a piece of it to Joyce. Um, and I've taken another cutting of it. And it's been growing really well, just living in my kitchen since I've gotten it. Um, and if you look at the bottom, it's pretty root bound. And if you look at the leaves, let me find, like, it's got some, like, stuff on it. It's just, like, it lives in the kitchen. And the other day, we were cooking rice, and the lid kind of popped off of the rice cooker a little bit. And it just, like, got all over the plant that was right beside it. Um, which is, you know, my fault for having a plant in there. But I do just want to clean up the leaves a little bit. And I also think that just because it's so root bound, I want to just go ahead and repot because why not do them both at once? Um, so I'm just going to be potting. I'm going to be root dividing. Um, and so I'm going to put part of it into this pot and part of it back into the original pot. Um, and then that should be plenty of room for both plants to grow into. So I have this new potting mat that my mom got me that I'm going to set up. So let's go ahead, and I do have a top dressing of Lekka on here, so if you hear those falling out, that's what it is. So let's just take her out of the pot. Oh my gosh, you guys, <laughs> look at this. Look at all those roots. Look at those like tubers. I didn't even think they made tubers. Look at that. Oh my god. And this side too. Man. I had no idea that Maranta made tubers. Um interesting. Look at all those roots. Okay, well this will definitely help the plant out quite a bit. So what I'm just going to do now is kind of massage the roots to get the soil to loosen up. So normally I wouldn't break up the roots as much as I did, but I kind of had to because I wanted to separate it into two plants. Um, but they still look really good. They still have a lot of roots. The roots look really healthy. Um, and there was really not very much soil at all. Let me show you. Not very much soil at all that was left in that pot just because the roots had all taken over the pot. Um, so now I'm just gonna put, let me see here. Both of these are the same size, so I'll put this one in here, that would look good, and I'll probably put this one back in here. So what I'm doing right now is I'm mixing in some of my soil with some of the soil the plant was already in. Um, it may have been my soil that it was already in, but I just wanted to add something else into it. Um, and since the plant was doing so well in that soil, I want to be able to keep keep it in something similar to that. Um, because there's probably something in the soil that the plant really likes. So I just want to make sure that I'm keeping that in there for the plant.
Okay, so this plant is done and is looking really good. Um, the leaves still are pretty dirty, but I'm going to wash off both the plants as soon as I'm done potting them up. And then this one, real quick, I'm just going to take off a couple unhealthy leaves that are on this one. Um, there's really not many. I think it was just that one. Again, I'm just doing the same thing of mixing my soil in with the original soil the plant was in, um, just so that it might not have as much shock to go through um, from being repotted and having its roots torn up um, and adding a different soil on top of that. So I'm just going to make sure I'm filling in all the empty spaces and patting the soil down. Um, just a little bit, just so there's no air pockets. And I might end up top dressing this one with Lekka later on. Um, just because I like how it looks and it also helps retain moisture in the plant um, because it won't be evaporating off of the top as quickly. Um, so yeah, I might do that later on. Okay, now I'm just going to take both the plants into my um, kitchen so that I can wash them off in the sink. Okay, so both the plants have been rinsed, and I didn't mention earlier, but this is something that I do fairly regularly for my plants anyway, um, just dusting the leaves or rinsing them off. Um, it's something you should be doing with your plants because um, if there's dust on the leaves and they're not able to photosynthesize as much. So yeah, it's just something that I do every maybe couple months, really just whenever I notice the leaves are dirty. Um, so now I'm just going to let these dry for a little bit and go get some Lekka to top dress this with. Okay, so here are the finished plants. Um, I had to put the smaller one in this pot uh, just because it's all that I had. Um, and it's top dressed with Lekka. Um, I did water both of them. I don't know if there's still a debate going on about this, um, about like watering your um, marantas with filtered water or tap water. I use filtered water just because I have the faucet on my sink that makes it really easy. Um, I just water all my plants like that but I know that some people um, just don't have the time or effort to put into that um, and it also depends on the water quality of where you live. So if you have trouble with Calathea um, or with Maranta um, I definitely do recommend that you maybe try out some filtered water. But yeah, this one over here looks really good. It's back in its original pot. Um, trailing down a little bit. And I think I'm just going to put it back in the spot that it was in my kitchen. Which was actually right where I have this plant right now. I think I'll just put him right there. Super cute. Um, and then this one I'll probably just put in my bedroom somewhere. 
<laughs> all right guys thank you so much for watching this video i really hope that you enjoyed it um i hope that you were able to learn one or two things about maranta um and how to take care of them uh if you have any questions definitely leave them down below i will answer them as soon as i can um but i will see you guys in the next video bye